there, dear listener. Welcome to the Field of Streams, where I, your host, Janine McRae, bring you the tiny thoughts that stream from my brain and present them to you as though they are the most regal queen from my private reserve ant farm, with a crown that's worth a gazillion bucks on Grailed. That doesn't even make sense, Jean. Mmm, formic acid. Now, I can't promise you much with these weekly whatever the hell these are, but I can promise you this. I won't keep you long. Today's missive was inspired by the saga of Sea Otter 841, a lady boss sea otter who is the biggest news in Santa Cruz since, I don't know, Ken Kesey hosted that first acid test event here. Her notoriety even reached the pages of the New York Times because who doesn't love a story about a bitey little ocean weasel who steals surfboards from a swifers? That's surfers. I don't know why I said it like that. Anyway, the Monterey Bay Aquarium, plus whatever aquatic authorities are involved, are still trying to catch her and figure out why she's being so aggressive. This will probably be some sort of therapy session on a couch, uh, a little role playing perhaps, I don't know. This has, of course, now led to a debate and protests as to whether she should be caught or simply allowed to rule the high seas, biting unguarded wave storm boards and causing havoc down at Steamer Lane. That's a Santa Cruz reference. Get on the old Google Maps and look it up. Her plight inspired me. Why is she so aggressive? What is she trying to tell us? Basic premise. Is local celebrity Sea Otter 841 a menace or simply looking for a missed connection? And without any further splashing about, attempting to hang ten, you kook, here is the post. Hello, I'm the Sea Otter who stole your surfboard. Craigslist posting. SF, Bay Area, Santa Cruz, all personals, missed connections. Hello, I'm the Sea Otter who stole your surfboard. And I also bit that doomsday fish. You didn't take me seriously when I put my furry paw on your surfboard. Me, I bit your wave storm out of spite. The look on your face. Yes, I bit right into that piece of trash. Guess what? I also bit that oar fish thing you probably saw in the news recently. I bring this up because the lamestream media rudely implied that sharks did that, and while sharks were involved, they were acting on my orders. Yes, I was the bite that weird thing mastermind. I am a world-class biter, and it was I who came up with the plan. But did I get one mention in that story? No. So I bit your surfboard and then stole it right out from under you. I was just so frustrated that those sharks, those slack-jawed John Wick wannabes, got all the credit for my plan. What choice did I have but to sink teeth into a cheap foamy to finally get my sweet face on the telly? I just wanted someone to notice me. Alas, I have a taste for it now. The biting thing, I mean. You might want to tell all your kook friends that from this day forth until the hour I am captured by those ham-handed Monterey Bay Aquarium thugs... Steamer Lane is off limits. Surfboards, kayaks, stand-up paddle dorks, I don't care. I am the biting board jacker. I will jack more boards. Anyway, hit me up if you want to connect. Do not contact this poster with unsolicited services or offers. Craigslist post, SF Bay Area, San Jose, all personals, missed connections. Hello. I'm the sea otter who stole your surfboard, and I collect and catalogue wave storms. When I saw your wave storm, my first thought was, ah, the eight-foot classic, Jamaican flavour, rum on. But then I became concerned your leash may have been loose, and I just wanted to come to check it for you. Once I got closer, I figured one can never have too many wave storms in one's collection, so I attempted to filch it from you. You dig? I can't explain my obsession with wave storms. It makes absolutely no sense. Perhaps it is their alluring stripes. Perhaps their budget-friendly demeanour, so perfectly aligned with kook aspirations. I can only shrug my adorable shoulders, wiggle my cute nose and say, I do not know, but I cannot resist them. Ever since Costco stopped stocking them, I have been attempting to acquire as many as I can. Truth bomb, 
I'm kind of okay with Costco dropping them. The last time I was there, the upgrade to business membership spiel at the register was kind of full on. But you? Come on, it was so easy to take your wave storm away. Your puny little human hands were useless to defend against me. My hands are weapons. I can crack a crab on my stomach with a rock while floating on my back. Far superior. I am a keystone species, you know. I'd be ever so grateful if you'd tell all your friends to get wave storms and drop by steamer lane so I can do some high sea commandeering for kicks and get my captain on. As long as you and your kook crew keep feeding the ocean wave storms, I will keep ganking them off you. This is the law of the sea. Hope to see you again. In case you didn't get it, my number is 841. It is not okay to contact this poster with unsolicited offers and junk. Craigslist posting. SF Bay Area. Capitola. All personals. Misconnections. Hello. I'm the sea otter who stole your surfboard and I took too much of Zempic. You, floating in steamer lane, minding your own bizazz. Me, just trying to help so you don't make the same mistake I did. Don't do it. I tried to use facial expressions, poor aggression, and attention-getting bites as a way to caution you that if you are considering the Ozempic shortcut, don't do it. If you have no blubber to lose, it's not worth it. I have no blubber. All weight loss I have experienced has been purely muscle. You probably saw how my fur moved around like a burlap sack filled with emaciated snakes when I approached you. Gross, right? The side effects have been brutal. The weird thing is I have no appetite, so I don't know why I keep biting surfboards. I'd say it's just muscle memory, but as I explained, Ozempic stole all my muscle, so it can't be that. Anyway, this is just to say sorry. My deepest deep sea apologies. Despite feeling full all the time, you should know that I'm feeling pretty empty inside, and that makes me a little bitey. It's not you. It's me. I just wanted you to know. You can find your surfboard on the rocks, just like my weight loss journey. Contacting this poster with some unsolicited whatever is bogus and not okay. Craigslist post. SF Bay Area. Santa Cruz. All personals. Misconnections. Hello, I'm the sea otter who stole your surfboard and I accidentally joined threads without realising I wouldn't be able to delete it without deleting Instagram. Can someone help? Just casting a save my socials net. I would hate to lose my library of wicked shellfish grams. Contacting this poster with the personal number of Zuck is welcomed. Craigslist posting, SF Bay Area, Santa Cruz, all personals, missed connections. Hello, I'm the sea otter who stole your surfboard, and I wrote you this poem. My heart has been expertly pierced by Neptune's long-loved trident. Sharp, salty and free, we raft as oceanic lovers, storing memories in our handbag-like armpits. The taste of love's last foamy bite receding, the endless wave storm wapowing the lip. We crack our mollusks in anticipation of the police report. You have yet to file. This poster is okay with a book deal. Craigslist post. SF Bay Area, Santa Cruz, all personals, misconnections. Hello, I'm the sea otter who stole your surfboard and I would like to join your pickleball league. It is not okay to point out that this poster would perhaps enjoy a water polo league more. Craigslist post. SF Bay Area, Santa Cruz, all personals, misconnections. Hello, I'm the sea otter who stole your surfboard, and please rate my office fit. You looked at me, directly. My fur cannot have escaped your notice. It is double-layered, unsullied by a blubber underlay, waterproof, and dapper AF. It's basically a natural wetsuit, and unlike yours that day we met, I don't have to pee in mine to keep warm. All natural, soft on the inside, hardy on the out, Perfectly accentuated by my glassy eyes and glossy nose. It's hard to pull off ocean chic without looking like a total kelp, but my long and slender body was the perfect hanger for this fur, and I just want you to take a moment to recognise that even as you were yelling at me to stop stealing your board and making all my bitey faces, you thought I looked fit enough to crack a crab or two with you. Poster is okay with solicitations. Craigslist post. SF Bay Area. Rio Del Mar, all personals, missed connections. Hello, I'm the sea otter who stole your surfboard and I'm not 
a Nepo baby. You all think I got this fame because of my mother? Just because she got too used to humans and would harass them too? Nuh-uh, this ocean weasel here acquired these skills all by myself and on my own time and dime. I worked hard and my tricks are all my own sweet tricks and not hers. This pup wasn't born with a silver wave storm in her mouth. If you think that, you've straight up got sprained for brains. Check yourself. I am not an industry plant. I am legit, 100% the real deal. Do you think I'd be on missed connections if I had connections? Think about it. Poster is okay with partnership inquiries. Craigslist post, SF Bay Area, Aptos, or personals, missed connections. Hello, I'm the sea otter who stole your surfboard, and today I'm announcing the launch of my new vodka brand, Sprint. It is very piquant, which is a word I just learned. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it right. Buoyant aftertaste, strong dung notes. It will be available exclusively at all Bay Area bars, dive bars, obviously, starting with Brady's Yacht Club in Santa Cruz. Next time you're in the lineup, spread the word. It is okay to contact this poster to suggest additional dive bars. Craigslist post, SF Bay Area, Santa Cruz, all personals, missed connections. Hello, I'm the sea otter who stole your surfboard. And attenzione, pickpocket. Pickpocket. I will not be taking questions. Thank you. Poster is not okay. And there you have it. Today's episode. Attenzione, pickpocket. I hope you'll come back for more. These little missives are designed to inspire creative folk to get out there and make something of their own. If you enjoyed this ramble, please follow the podcast. Please, I beg you. Don't beg, Janine. I'm begging you. And never miss an episode. I mean, if you follow, you will never miss an episode. I'll leave you with this. Love what you love, and I'll see you out there making stuff. <laughs>